Scraping JavaScript content can be quite a challenge. The reason for this is that a lot of web scrapers struggle when scraping dynamic JavaScript content. A lot of web scrapers cannot effectively load, browse, or scrape JavaScript content on the web. However, there are now free web scrapers that can easily extract data from JavaScript websites onto a CSV or JSON file. We are Parsub, and today we will use a web scraper to load, interact with, and extract data from JavaScript elements on a website. For this project, we will use Parsub, a free and powerful web scraper that can extract data from any website. You can download it for free through the link in the description or at parsub.com. Additionally, we will extract data from Amazon using Parsub to interact with the search bar, perform a search, and scrape content loaded dynamically on the search results page. Make sure to download and install Parsub for free before getting started. Now, let's get started with our project. Install and open Parsub. Click on New Project and enter the URL you will be scraping data from. In this case, we will scrape data from Amazon.com. The page will then render inside the app. A select command will be created by default. Let's use it to select and interact with a JavaScript element on the page, the search bar. Start by clicking on the search bar. You will now be able to create an input to enter in the search bar. For this example, we will use the search term laptop. You will notice the search bar will be filled in inside the page and recommendations will pop up, successfully interacting with the JavaScript element. Go back to your first selection and rename it to search bar. Now let's set Parsub to click on the search button and load the search results page. Click on the plus sign next to your page selection and choose the select command. With the select command, click on the search button to select it. It will be highlighted in green to indicate that it has been selected. Rename your selection to button. Now click on the plus sign next to the button selection and choose the click command. A pop-up will appear asking you if this is the next page button. Click on no, rename your template to results template and click on the create new template button. The search results page will load inside the app. Let's now set up Parsub to extract more data from the Amazon search results page. With the select command that is created by default, click on the name of the first non-sponsored product on the page. It will be highlighted in green to indicate that it has been selected. Now, click on the second product name on the page to select them all. They will now all be highlighted in green. Rename your selection to product. Parsub is now pulling the name and URL for each listing on the page. Want to learn how to scrape even more data from Amazon, such as pricing and product details? Check out our guide on how to extract product data from Amazon. Just click on the card that is on the screen right now. To extract the data you have selected, click on the green Get Data button in the left sidebar. Here, you will be able to test, schedule, or run your scrape job. In this case, we will run it right away. Once your scrape is complete, you will be able to download it as a CSV or JSON file. You now know how to interact with and extract JavaScript content from the web. Thanks for watching our video. If you want to learn more about web scraping, check us out at parsehub.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on web scraping, data, and the internet.